Hey, what's going on guys? This is Drake with Extreme Sports and today we're gonna to be showing you kind of how to clean your mask. That way it is nice and prepped to where new defog can get on it or maybe your mask is a little dirty. If you can see mine, it's a little gross right now and I just wanna go ahead and clean it. That way it's ready for the weekend. Um, when it comes to cleaning my mask, I choose to clean it basically after a big dive trip or maybe after a weekend of diving at the lake. It gets kind of gross and I just like to have a clean clean surface for my defog to stick to it. And um, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab some Dawn dish soap. And the reason we use Dawn dish soap is because it's a degreaser, um, but also it's very affordable. So what we do is we start off by just taking a couple drops and I like to wet mine first. Just add a little bit of water inside the mask lens. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put a couple drops of Dawn Dish Soap, and I may have went a little heavy on that um, right there, and then just agitate it with your fingers. Basically, you want to um, just attack it, every little crevice that you can get, just attack it with your fingers. Make sure you're not using any brushes, because on the, especially on the inside of the lens, if you do scratch it, you will see it. It's not too bad if you scratch the outside of the lens, as water will actually fill up the lens on the inside of it, but uh, you don't want to use a bristle brush. Just use your hands and you'll get it nice and clean and that uh, that Dawn dish soap will do work. So we're just going to agitate it. Make sure you get the seals because there could be debris that causing leaks and things like that. And just kind of agitate it. And then what we're going to do is just simply rinse it out. And after I do that, maybe I'll add, add a little bit, maybe a little drop on the outside water on there and then just agitate the outside as well. I like to clean every crevice that I can of the mask that way uh, especially when it's storing there's no dirt in there just caking on the mask itself and of course I want it to look nice. So just agitate a little bit more and of course you want to make sure you clean your strap too. So the thing is with Dawn dish soap is if you add a bunch to the strap especially on these um, these straps from Scoop Pro uh, the comfort straps it's going to suds up um, no matter how much you rinse it, it's just going to hold it. So I just use fresh water uh, just to rinse my, my strap. If I'm going to clean it pretty heavily, maybe I'll use some, some like wetsuit cleaner or some pow plow that we have here and uh, make sure it smells nice and good. But just as a, a nice surface for uh, my defog to, to bond to, this is what I do. Go ahead and rinse it off. Get that strap. Get the strap with some fresh water. Kind of move it back and forth, open up the pores, rinse every crevice that you can. And then when it comes to drying it, you want to make sure you use a lint-free microfiber. Reason you use lint-free, obviously we don't want stuff um, on the lenses, but especially the skirt and seals like that. And microfiber is going to be a lot gentle, you know, very, very gentle on the, uh, the mask itself. So just kind of dry every little crevice that you can. <clears throat> get to and you don't really want to use compressed air when you clean a mask and the reason for that is you could actually force more dirt into where the uh, the lens meets the skirt itself so if you just use a microfiber towel uh, first of all you know you're gonna be safe and not scratch anything but at the same time you're not gonna force force water and or dirt into places that you know really shouldn't be <clears throat> and then after we're done kind of drying it off a little bit it doesn't have to be completely dry just enough to where there's no standing water. And then we're gonna allow this mask to air dry. And when we put it inside our bag or our case, we wanna make sure we leave it open. That way it can completely air dry, store it, and then we're ready to go and ready to apply defog. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below. Thanks for watching.